pursue righteousness means you make it your goal to please him. When those immoral thoughts come into your mind, you know it is not pleasing to God. So you kick it out of your mind. When you want to crack silly jokes, the Bible actually tells us, you know, Paul was talking to Timothy, he said, avoid godless chatter. Some of us talk too much. You know there are some companies that are not even pleasing to God. I mean like, hanging out with certain people is not pleasing to God. You just stay around certain environments, you're around certain people, talking stupidly. Chattering unnecessarily. The Bible says it leads to more ungodliness. You have to know that you're a child of God. So even in the way you talk, in the kind of people you steal with, you know, some time ago, I began to read all these things that, that secular humanists who sneaked into the church teach on the college relationship evangelism. In other words, for me to save a soul, I need to hang out with you. I need to hang out with sinners so I can save them. That's a lie. We don't save the world by hanging out with them. We save them by coming out from them. He said, come out from among them and be separate. It is our distinction that attracts them. It is our standing apart from them that establishes the contrast, the law of contrast, that then allows them to see that there is something different about you. You can't be fooling around with an unbeliever and accept them to be saved. You can't be cracking jokes and laughing and, and playing with people that are not saved. And then you expect to influence them for Christ. You are just like somebody who ran into the pit. You want to save somebody from a pit and you jump into the pit with a person. Two of you now need deliverance. I've seen a lot of Christians. They actually now need deliverance. If your best friend is an unbeliever, you have a problem. Do you get what I'm talking about? If your if your constant companion, somebody told me once, I really don't like to stay around Christians. I prefer to stay around unbelievers. I say you are backsliding. That's the truth about your life. You need deliverance. You know, there's just something wrong about these church people. I prefer to just say, I, I find unbelievers more. You're a fool, a big one. You're just looking for an opportunity to sin. You're looking for a way to backslide. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let's go to the house of God. He rejoices in the company of God's people. So he said, we should strive at all times to be pleasing to God. To do those things that are right in his sight. That is what it means to pursue righteousness. 